Welcome to part 6 of my how to install Ubuntu series but ironically in this video I'm going to be showing you how to uninstall Ubuntu in the easiest possible way. Now if you installed Ubuntu using the Windows installer uninstalling Ubuntu is in fact very simple. Go to the start menu then click computer. Then go into the hard drive that you installed Ubuntu on the default will be C but if you saved it on another hard drive it will obviously be there instead. So I'm going to open local disk C, then open the folder Ubuntu by double clicking it, and then double click this file here, uninstall-wubi.exe, and this is the uninstaller built into the Ubuntu installation. And if you're sure you want to uninstall it, click the uninstall button. And then it's immediately said Ubuntu has been successfully uninstalled. We can then click finish. You can close Windows Explorer and Ubuntu has been successfully uninstalled. Easy as that. However, if you installed Ubuntu using a CD or USB flash drive, uninstalling Ubuntu is a little more complicated, but still doable. Essentially, instead of using a built-in uninstaller, we have to physically delete the Ubuntu partitions on the hard drive. When you install Ubuntu with a CD-ROM or USB flash drive, it also installs the Grub Loader, so that it can install Ubuntu alongside Windows. If you decide to uninstall Ubuntu, deleting the Ubuntu partitions in the process, Grub will be uninstalled with it. If this were to happen, your MBR, Master Boot Record, would become damaged and as a result you wouldn't even be able to boot into Windows after uninstalling Ubuntu. Now it is in fact very simple to repair the MBR after uninstalling Ubuntu, but you will need a Windows installation or repair disk. If you don't have one of these already, Click this annotation now to watch my video on how to make a Windows system repair disk for free. All you need is a computer with a Windows operating system and a blank CD. Once you have made this CD, you can come back to this video to continue with the uninstallation process. It is very important that you have this CD before you continue. OK, so once you've found your Windows installation disk or once you've made a Windows system repair disk by watching my video, click Start, right click Computer, and then select manage from this menu. Then under the storage subheading click disk management. In this window we have to determine which partitions correspond to Ubuntu so we know which ones to delete. The easiest way to do this is to look at the file system column just here. As Windows doesn't recognize the Ubuntu partitions they always have no file system so I can easily tell that these bottom two partitions here are the Ubuntu partitions. Another way of telling is to look at the capacity column. If you think back to the installation process there was a specific partition size that was installed so if you can remember that that number will be displayed here. But the easiest way is to look at the file system. So once you've determined which partitions correspond to Ubuntu right click beside it and then click delete volume from this menu then click yes. Do the same for the other one, right click, delete volume and then yes. So we've now uninstalled Ubuntu and with it the grub loader. So at the moment we have what's known as a damaged MBR and we probably won't be able to boot into Windows but we can very easily fix that. Click this annotation now to watch my video on how to repair the master boot record so you can once again boot into Windows.